Hi guys, Todd here again with RV Adventures, Todd's World, and uh, today I'm in the RV and I didn't have a lot to do. I had some projects. I already had the products on hand that I planned on doing this week while we're in Winnipeg, Canada on our RV, and so today I figured I'd share the first project with you, and that is adding magnetic seasoning racks. Now as you can see here, I'm going to flip you around. We added these this magnetic knife rack here and it works great these knives stay up uh, over all the bumps and everything of the road even we got a metal uh, strainer that will stick to there can opener scraper pizza cutter works really great now I might have mentioned this in another video but I got these spice racks now it works perfect up here these spice racks and they're very very strong magnets and these have not moved on our trip from Florida all the way up to Canada and they just stick right on here magnetize now of course I like to get them straight the door still opens and you can adjust them up or whatever but once they're stuck they stick really good so I got two more uh, that I'm gonna hang today see these are stuck together Hold on. Ah, really strong magnets. Now I want to hang these up here on to the side here, and we can still fit our pans underneath of it, of the uh, racks. And what I did, I'm going to leave the link. I'm going to leave the link to these uh, magnetic spice racks, and also the link to this. This is a magnetic bar really really strong it's meant for tools and sockets and stuff in your garage i got this at harbor freight i'm going to mount this right up here with some 3m double-sided heavy duty sticky tape after we clean it with some alcohol of course and this is actually the box i got a couple of these it's from harbor freight and i'll leave the link to these uh, magnetic strips in the video description below so stick around and we'll get to work it should be a short quick video and uh, see if this idea works regular vinegar Windex cleaner get any grease or residue off and then I'll go ahead and apply some alcohol so we get a good surface to stick to I want to make sure that gets dry alcohol will usually dry pretty quick these things are so cool I got lucky when I found these on the internet. See, it's like a sheet, a magnetic sheet that comes with these spice racks. And notice I got, I'm gonna show you the difference here. There are two different widths. So I got some deeper ones and then some shallow uh, racks. Same company, you can pick different sizes. Put this back up here. Make sure it clears the door. Clears the door fine and you say, hey Todd, how do you get your spices out? They're right up against the ceiling here. Well, you do have to leave a little space. You can't jam pack them, but you can still get your stuff out. If, it's, if you've got the same layout with this convection oven, with this nice uh, metal uh, frame around it, metal decorator plate, works really nice on this but you know if you got taller items and you don't want the hassle with this you can mount them like I'm gonna do here now hopefully this works this is my uh, strong bond double-sided tape we're gonna try here so we're gonna try this I do have some really strong 
uh, VHB tape coming from Amazon. So if this doesn't work, we're going to use that, but we'll try this today. Now I want to get, wipe the back of the magnetic bar also with some alcohol. Make sure that's really clean and then dry. Now, last resort, it does have two holes, one in each end. So last resort, I could break out my drill and drill bit and drill into this tile, but I'd rather not to, uh, to dr drill into the tile. So I'm going to try the double-sided tape method first. And we'll go ahead and put our tape on the back side here first. And this is a little bit wider than the uh, strip, but we're going to go with it. Slightly wider than the strip. And just apply pressure. Just make sure this is really stuck. I'm going to try to eyeball it with this grout joint right here. And first, let me see. I want these up tall enough so the pans can still fit underneath. I don't, I don't want it up here, I don't think. No, I think I want it right here. Now, let's just test this. Okay, it's going to work. I'm not sure if it's going to be strong enough. We might have to drill. I'm really trying to avoid that. Now this tile is just like on a separate board. I can tell by pushing on this, it's not even really truly mounted to this uh, this other wood behind here. It's probably just glued to it, but the tile's mounted to this piece here. Seems pretty strong. Now, you would probably let this go ahead and sit here for uh, 24 hours before you try it out. But for the purpose of this video, after I do the video, I'll probably remove the spice racks and let this sit here and adhere overnight. But let's give it a shot. I'm going to take these out first. All the spices. Now I got a wider one here, so I'm going to put that to the back and then the thinner one here, if they will both fit. I'm not sure if both of these are gonna fit here. They'll be hanging off a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now, see, I don't like that. Because it's not getting the full magnetic bar here, so I probably can only hang up one of these. It's a shame I can't fit two of these bars end to end here, but it's not gonna work. Clean this out. I'll just do one of these, like right there. It works. <laughs> I like it. Salt, pepper. Yeah, that's pretty sturdy. Let me show it to you. Pretty nice. Got spices up here. Spices right there. Whoops. <laughs> oh no. Did you see that? All right. Plan B, I'm gonna have to drill. I'm gonna have to drill that in. And uh, before I do that, I'm gonna make sure I've got it, you know, either further back or up forward more uh, to fit just one of these spice racks. Oh man, I really didn't wanna uh, drill into the tile, but I mean, look at the knife. All right, and we're back. So if all else fails, break out your Ryobi tools. I got my Ryobi drill here, and I've got this uh, drill bit set. So I'll leave a link in the video description of all of this stuff that you might need uh, while you're trying to do this project. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
put a drill bit in here. I did find two of these kind of wood screws. Whoops. Don't let it fall in the sink. Kind of like a drywall looking screw. And I got also a washer that I'm going to put on. That should hold it right into each end. Now I did stick this, the magnetic bar. I made it so that the holes will line up with the grout. So least resistance and I won't have to crack into these tiles, hopefully. So both holes are gonna line up with the grout and notice I do have the double-sided tape on there just to uh, provide more assistance uh, for the wall mount. That's gonna help assist those screws in holding this in place. So let me go ahead and start drilling. Got a small drill bit I'm using here. A little bit smaller than the uh, screw. Very good. That went fairly well. Now I think I'm going to hand tighten these screws in there. We'll get this tightened down. I can found that hole. Snug it, but not too tight. And we've got that hole lined up. And we snug it. Snug it because the majority of this is going to be held by the double sided tape. The screws are just going to keep this bar in place. Okay, now let me show you how it looks now. Now, see, that's a lot better now that we put the uh, spacing back there with the double-sided tape. Let's go ahead and try the spice rack. Yeah, that's a whole lot better. Okay, I think we got it. Spice racks are up. Beautiful up here. Like I mentioned, some are wider. These, I got a couple wider ones. That one in the back and this one here and then some narrow ones. So it's up to you. I'll leave the links in the video description. But I did end up putting both of these up here once I got the screws in. And it seems sturdy. If you're going down the road, bump, 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 bump. Uh, this is, I don't think it's going to fall down. But we'll see. If it does, we'll just, we'll just choose one to stick up there. But what you could always do is you could pull one of these off. And what we have been, where we have been storing these is down underneath here in the cabinet. And then when you get to your spot, uh, take them out of the cabinet and put them back up here. That's if they don't hold. These have never fallen on a ride at all. And the knives and utensils back there have never fallen off on any of our rides from Florida to Canada. So uh, they're sticking really well. Now we'll have to see how this does, but hope you guys like the video. Hope you guys like the video and uh, I'll see you on the next one.